What's good with y'all? Q, Q's World. Back at y'all another dope ass review of another nice ass gun that I got for four hundred dollars. And as you can see by the thumbnail, today we got the A Rex Defense Delta X Gen Two OR. Let's get into it. So I was in the market, just searching around for a new EDC. I honestly didn't want to pay no wild ass price. And I was looking for something kind of on the cheap end, but you know, still reliable, something that's still gonna get the job done, something I can depend on all the time. And that's when I found A Rex Defense Delta X OR Gen 2. Nine millimeter handgun out of Slovenia. Comes with three sizes, an L, M, and an X. L being your largest side. M being like your concealable, X being like your 19X, I would say, which is a compact slide with a full size grip. Comes with a four inch barrel, 17 round mag, 19 round mag. Also comes with flare mag well. Also comes with two loaded chamber indicators, which I thought was pretty nice, especially for the price, $400. Trigger is pretty solid, nothing too crazy. Got a very defined wad and and then once you get to that wall, when you're shooting from the reset, it's amazing. And I specifically got the X size because I wanted a full size grip with the compact slide. And of course, it's optics ready. So you can't really beat that. And by optics ready, it can damn near fit any red dot that you can find out there. The box come with three to four different plates. So it shouldn't be a problem with you being able to find any red dot that you want. You can manipulate the slide pretty easy. And as you can see, like I told you, the trigger is pretty nice. You can see the reset on it it actually pushes your finger back out to the reset. So that reset is nice. And then you can see it has a, got a crisp wall. So it's pretty nice. I will honestly say my only gripe about it, first shooting it, it is a little snappy. But that's something you can get used to. That's all just depending on your grip and the shooter. It didn't become a problem, just like the first couple of shots. And once I realized how the recoil mitigates, it's perfectly fine. Didn't have a problem with it at all. And it actually wasn't snappy at the at the end of me shooting. Another thing I would say is two times the slide didn't go into battery, which I already knew this from seeing other reviews and uh, checking out A-Rex Defense. But that's really just a break-in period, even with the trigger. The trigger might feel a little gritty when you first get it, but I'll say as soon as you take it out the box, just dry fire, dry fire. I say pull the trigger, try to pull the trigger at least 200 times. The trigger will get way better. And honestly, once you start to shoot it, you don't have them problems at all. Even when it was not going into battery, as I continued to shoot the gun, that problem went away and I didn't have that problem at all. It only happened like the first five to 10 rounds. After that, I was perfectly fine. So I will honestly say so far, I can trust this gun with my life. And it's considered to be like a Glock and a SIG, I would say. About the same size as a Glock, but slimmer. So that makes it even easier to conceal. So that's something to take into account. A lot of people don't care about it. Some people do, some people don't. It fits all my Glock 19 holsters. Like Glock 19, Glock 23 holsters. I got a Glock 23. It fits all my Glock holsters. So that was actually nice. I didn't have to buy no new ones, which I still will. I'm going to buy one that fits exactly for the gun, but... As for now, it's pretty fine. And as you can see, this is the large grip module and it fits my hand pretty well. I wouldn't say I had the biggest hands, but I don't have the smallest hands. The sights are easy to look down, none too crazy. Feels good in your hands, it's very slim. And it works for people with small hands or big hands. Can't wait to get more shots up on it. Still trying to decide what I want to add, if I want to decide on what light I want to add or what optic I want to add. Shit, I seen A-Rex Defense just came out with a Delta X Tactical, which is the threaded barrel. So hopefully, 
Hopefully, A-Rex listen to us and drop them barrels separately because I need one drastically. Please, sir. I want some more. I would love to have that 4.6 inch barrel on this X size. I feel like it'll look beautiful and it'll definitely accommodate the gun very well. It also comes with a nice texturized stipple from factory. Feels good in your hand. It's not too gritty. You can grip it pretty well. Definitely shouldn't be a problem for anybody putting their hands on it. I've seen people talk about how they was getting nicked up by the back strap and all that. Didn't have that problem at all. Definitely be on the lookout for an update build on this gun because I will be upgrading the sights. Definitely gonna get an optic flashlight. I wanna see how this trigger is at a thousand rounds. Cause to me, I actually love the trigger, but I wanna see how it is at a thousand rounds. I wanna see if it changes or if it stays the same. It's a nice trigger though. I definitely love the wall and how crisp it is. So that's really what I wanna see and what I'm really gonna pay attention to. But time will tell, man, time will tell. As of now, pretty solid gun. Not mad at me paying that price at all for $400. If you're in the market and you don't have the money to spend on a Glock, which we all know Glocks, they usually start at $600, unless you're going to go buy used. But if you're going to get a brand new Glock, they usually start at $600 plus. If you don't have the money to buy a Glock, A-Rex is a nice company that's offering a great product with, honestly, more things than a stock Glock come with. What? What the fuck? Because a stock Glock for $600 plus a lot of them don't come optics cut. So that right there is something you got to think about. And in the day and age that we are now, everybody wants to go red dye. Everybody wants optic cut ready gun. So $400, can't beat it, man. I am the one, the way you one thing I can't forget to mention, though, which I've seen people complain about this a lot. Honestly, it's not a problem to me, but I can understand why people complain about it. The mag release. As you can see right there, it's pretty small. It's nothing too crazy. It doesn't protrude out from the gun that much. So a lot of people said they had trouble pressing the mag release, which I can show you right now. To me, it was no problem. But some people, they had the problem. So that's another preference thing. So it's just something to think about when you buy this gun. But Global Ordinance and A-Rex Defense they got mag release extensions that you can buy, but I heard they're paying in the ass to replace. So that's just something to think about. Honestly, I think just working with the gun and training, it would become easy and it wouldn't be a problem no more. But that is a problem that I've seen people complaining about, but I haven't had that issue at all. Honestly, out the box, I would get this gun, I would say about a, a seven or eight. I ain't going to just hype it up and give it a 10. I haven't shot enough rounds out of it, but out of the box and for everything that it offers and for the price that it offers for $400, optics cut already, come with your 19 round mag and your 17 round mag. That's kind of a hard package to beat. I honestly would say it's a good buy, but teach their own, do your research, make sure it's something that you would actually like and want. I think this one is going to stay with me. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep running drills with it, keep putting rounds down range with it and just see how it's going, man. So that's my review on the A-Rex Defense Delta X Gen 2. Y'all hop down in the comments, man. Let me know what y'all think about it. Let me know if y'all plan on picking up one, any other things y'all found out about the gun that I did not mention in the video. They also come in different colors. It's the FDE. They also got a gray, a OD green and black. So man, just let me know, man. Hop down in the comments, Q's world. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below what y'all think about the gun. Did I make a good purchase? Was $400 worth it? I think it was, man. So I'll catch y'all in another video, man. Q's world. I'm out.